Hi guys, and welcome back to FTB Skyblock Infinity Evolved. Or some mixture of those three words. I've noticed recently when I was doing some stuff, which I'll go into in a second, uh, that I've been saying the order of those words wrong, and I don't know whether I said them right this time or whether I said them the same as I always do. <laughs> but some combination of Skyblock, Infinity, and Evolved, uh, and FTB. Um, some co combination of them is the correct one. Um, and no worries, you don't have to tell me in the comments. I'm going to forget anyway, even if you do. Um, so, things have changed. I've moved the metals over here, uh, over to the storage. And I've also done some more in terms of this stuff. I don't have the obsidian hooked up this is manually put in here and each of these has a mark to chassis with a uh as you can see my inventory is full of junk from moving this stuff and creating more uh has a uh provider <laughs> and a polymorphic item sink in there each and being the smarty pants i am um, most of these are compression, so that they become three items in one, basically. And I can hear you typing furiously on the keyboard already. Rosie, why don't you use a, um, storage manager? One of these things. No? Oh, I spelt it wrong. That doesn't help. One of... Excuse me. At storage. Uh, one of draw controllers. Why aren't you using a draw controller? Because there's a couple of reasons. One, I want to use logistics pipes more in this build. Um, I haven't had a chance or any mod packs or anything uh, in recent times where I've had the chance to play with logistics pipes that often. Um, so I really wanted to play with logistics pipes again, specifically logistics pipes, right? So it's a logistics pipes build. And secondly, there is actually a practical reason not to use the storage manager. That being that while you can put a provider and a polymorphic item sync on a storage um, manager, if you need to do something more specific than that, or you need to have... Um, tweaked uh, priorities for different destinations. Say that I wanted um, silver to always come here first, but I wanted steel to always go somewhere else first. I have to either choose, if I was using a storage manager, I'd have to either choose one or two or, you know, only one priority. I couldn't set this on a super high priority this and this on a super low priority, right? Um, it would all have to be the same priority regardless. And that could cause problems. So there's your two reasons. One, I really just want to use logistics pipes. And two, um, it's got a practical reason to do it too. As you can see, I've moved this as well. We will actually put a cover on that because I think covers work. And why don't we do that right now while I'm kind of avoiding uh, actually doing anything. Here we go. Avoiding deciding what I'm doing for this episode, that is. So, I think it's gravel and cobblestone, right? To make plugs. And then you do plugs plus... Um, plugs plus whatever block you want to use, and that will work just fine, I think. Can you, oh, okay, two gravel, that's fine. I don't care. Honestly, I don't. Output. Yeah. See, this is working quite nicely, too. And all those things are in there because, of course, each of those have a provider module attached to them. So it's all working happily. In you go, gravel. No? Is that not how we do things? You still called a plug. 
you are called a plague. Cobblestone structure pipe. Uh huh. It's not actually made from the cobblestone itself. Right, learning. We'll need four of that. And that will be cobblestone structure pipes. Or not. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> it's a normal crafting bench. <sighs> okay. That's not how you make it either. Me. Right. So now we put this in here. This comes out. And I want... My inventory is an absolute mess. That's something I want to do. I want to do mod based chests soon. Um, so that I can get a lot of this out of my inventory. Um, come on brain, you can do it. I'm looking for treated wood. There we go. Request that. And in you go. Great. So that'll do its thing. We get treated wood thingy-majigger and hopefully that will work with logistics pipes. Open! I forgot I didn't have a uh, pressure plate on that side. <laughs> Yay! All right, great. Um, and here's a stuffed chest. By the way, and I'm dumb and haven't gone and got the name. <laughs> you know who you are. You are amazing. Uh, somebody tweeted to me after watching um, the previous episode of Skyblock and they noticed, hey, Rex, didn't you have a tool belt? I do. And that's where the dolly, the wrench and everything else went. <laughs> I had just totally forgotten I had a tool belt. Um, the tool belt is, of course, here, the traveler's belt. Uh, and that is why I had no tools. Because I did have tools that were just on my tool belt and I had totally forgotten. So there you go. Oh, derpy racks. All right. So today there's a couple of things I want to do. Um, the first of which is maybe a couple of mod chests or just a mod chest to get started. Uh, I have a mod based item sync module already created. Eight of them, in fact. Um... And it's going to be for uh, logistics pipes and um, BC. BC. BC and logistics pipes. Uh, just to get the stuff out of my inventory. Excuse me. Who do you think you are? Oh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that we are still not on a server. Um, you didn't get a Skyblock last week because on the Skyblock day, uh, I decided to try uh, turning my rendering computer into a server. Now, that went well, actually creating a server on that. It ran well and it was a good server, but um, I don't know why. I'm not an expert when it comes to networks, uh, but there was an enormous lag from the client end, aka me playing the game from this computer over to my server computer. Open, uh, yes, over to my server computer, aka the rendering computer. Uh, there was massive lag um, and it was not sustainable. This, uh, the computer being, the game being played single player, um, is a smoother experience than having the server on my rendering computer. So, uh, that's a problem. And I've had a couple of offers from people um, that they would be willing to ho uh, host servers for me. And I'm qu quite thankful that those offers have come along, but I can't accept them. And to explain why I can't accept them, it's simply because um, while I love you all and you're all awesome for watching and and... Uh, enjoying the content that I create, I don't actually know you personally. Often, there are some of the some of you which I do. Um, there are very few though that I personally know and that I am friends with. And when it comes to something as um, 
as important as a server and maintaining a server and having that run and have it reliable and stuff and adding more people to my, uh, to basically my quote unquote unpaid workforce. Um, I don't feel comfortable having people that I am not even acquainted with, right? Um, so unfortunately I have to turn those offers down most of the time, uh, all of the time up until this point, in fact, uh, just simply because I don't feel comfortable um, having a server run by somebody that I am not on uh, a one-to-one -one friendship basis with or at least a trusted work colleague basis with. Um, so thank you for the offers, but uh, unfortunately I have to turn you down. So, having got distracted from that, because uh, I need to focus on my words, uh, we need to create a chest, uh, and preferably a diamond one. So to create a diamond one, we will need plates. So let's get eight iron because we need iron plates in order to upgrade and then I think we need uh, yeah gold plates and then diamond is basically the same so that's fine uh, gold plates we'll grab those while we're at it Preemptively. Now, weirdly, oh, that hurt. <laughs> um, weirdly, this isn't set up, isn't working very quickly. Uh, you'll see what I mean. If I put the iron bars on there, they bounce, but don't get picked up by this or this. Uh, it's quite annoying. I could try something. Excuse me. <laughs> that was unexpected. I didn't even think that would go through. Uh, try that instead. Does that work better? No. Not even slightly. Um, what happens if I... It's because it like bounces? I don't know. I don't know. I actually just have no clue what I'm talking about at this juncture. What if I put you up there? Will you drop down? You won't drop down. Because it's not seen as valid. Because you're not a dropper, you're a hopper. I don't know what's going on, but uh, that bottom conveyor does not actually pick up the iron bars and then they just kind of hover here and then don't get planted down there. Uh, they did while it was on a server. So when this was server based, it was working better than it is in single player, which is uh, something that very rarely happens. It's usually the server side that has the problems, but uh, there you go. I probably need a longer run on this conveyor, but this room is extremely temporary right now. And what is going on here? I don't even know. Oh, I do know. You're out of power. My bad. Yes, I put a crusher in this room as well, because I needed um, obsidian, crushed obsidian. I was making a couple more ender chests. Because I was, uh, while I was tidying up the room, I was, had the bright idea of um, feeding the sugarcane over to an ender chest network. And then I realized that that probably is just not going to change much. We'll come up with a better system eventually. Um, anyway, we have completed iron plates. In goes the gold. Uh, and I do need wood. That's the one thing that I have totally forgotten about. You need the initial chest. Uh, you'll do. Gimme. Yes, I realize I could just say 10 and then minus 2. But uh, if you're watching this channel for the first time, you'll learn that I am a creature of habit. I do things out of habit. Even if it's more efficient to do them differently... Um, I will change those habits if uh, I, I deem the efficiency to be uh, better. So if it is strictly just a better way of doing things, then I will often change my habits. 
but if it's largely not going to inconvenience anyone, then I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. For example, hitting the plus sign seven times is basically not an inconvenience to me to the point where I want to hit plus 10 minus 2, right? <laughs> This has been a recent theme on the channel because I'm doing RimWorld at the moment as well if you haven't started watching that. Uh, and there are several things that I do out of habit on RimWorld as well. Gold chest. Right, now I need two diamonds. So nice being able to just request things. Um, and six glass, was it? Yep. I don't have glass over there yet. I think I may have some glass in here. I do. Cool. So you, you, and you. Diamond chest. Great. Now, do I have a Mark II chassis? I do not have a Mark II chassis. That is fine. I believe it is four iron and... Or it might be two iron. Uh, two iron and iron chipset. Yeah. So two iron. Gimme. Logistics pipe. And you can see I'm just kind of organizing these based on a, a vague idea of what I want to do here. So this will be like mod chests, uh, this is um, resources, and this is blocks. Um, strictly blocks, so not special machines or anything like that, just good old plain, you plonk it, plonk it down, it's a block block. Um, diamond chest. mod module now do I need to configure you or are you going to be configured like a polymorphic and you're just going to do it based on what I put in here that's BC transport that's logistics let's take half and a half if I put these in here those iron nuggets are going to be a problem Yeah, that's not working, is it? All right. Um, give me that. I said, give me it. Someone said you can pop them out if you're not wearing glasses. I'm not so sure. We'll just break it. Yeah, all right. So please add Woodcraft Transport. And, oh, I did already have Mark IIs on me. <laughs> I should look in my inventory better next time. And that's cool. So, if we put the Mark II down and put this back in, then all of this stuff should find a home. Now, we won't be able to see it in the system, of course, because we don't actually have a provider. Why is the dolly up there? So, it's not listed in here until we provide it with a provider, but we have a provider. And now we should be able to see it. Yep, there they all are. Awesome. That's nice. So, we now have a home for BC transport and logistics pipes. Um, I'm tempted to also make that uh, BC circuitry. How many other BCs are there? BC energy factory robotics silicon and transport. I mean builders. But we'll see how that goes. We might make a dedicated BC chest at some point. 
Oh heck, we can do it now, can't we? I'll be right back. Just confirming that a longer run does allow this to work constantly on single player. So that's a plus. I'll return once I have that diamond chest though. Okay, diamond chest. And everything's now in here, isn't it? <laughs> I need one of you. Don't need you. And I need one of you. Cool. It's all handy having it all in the right place. There we go. The provider can already go in. Not that it's providing anything right now. And you, by the way, if the speed of these isn't up to snuff, it's because the providers are only Mark 1 at the moment. And there is a Mark 2, which is much, much faster. Uh, so if speed of delivery ever becomes a problem, which I doubt it will because of how the layout is in the storage facility, uh, then we can upgrade to Mark 2. Anywho. We actually want to break this one too, don't we? Because this one is got this, which we want to remove. And you two can go back in. Just fine. Right, and we want to take out BC Transport stuff and add it in. Um, we'll put those in there for now. Hop. I'm just coming back here to get these, which are BC Silicon. Are you something different? Your BC transport and your silicon. That's fine in your forestry, yeah. So that gets added. And if we ever need to add more, we just break it and add it. Hello, where'd you spawn from? Murdered. And just confirmation that it's all going to get pulled into the right place. You're not getting pulled. Why aren't you getting pulled? Oh, you were pulled. It's just being laggy and weird. That can go. Right, and all that's in there, and all that's in there. Fun! So that clears up a lot of room in my inventory. Um, and just so that I'm not spending the entire episode making mod chests, <laughs> um, I'm just going to add chests as I go, uh, maybe between episodes or maybe between cuts when I need them, um, adding mod chests into this array. And as you can see, everything is of course available as it should be. I can grab all my golden chip sets and chip sets and whatever else I need. I could even upgrade these to Mark 3s and specify that I want a limited amount in these chests or somewhere else or do something like that or add satellites or logistics pipes is fun this way. So, the aim, and we're going to wrap up just a little bit early because it's uh, too much of a project to get started on right now. But the aim of the next episode will be to start creating our factory floor. What is a factory floor? The factory floor is basically um, to move this stuff out into a much, much bigger space. Probably the same size as kind of like our, um, our biodome out here. Um, or possibly even bigger. It depends on uh, where we take it. But to uh, add things as we need them, like dedicated... Um, assembly tables that are set to creating certain kind of chipsets or um, setting up certain machines that will do dedicated things based on requests from our remote orderer, right? Because we're going to start doing automated uh, crafting with our remote orderer um, and logistics system so that going forward as we try and get to the end of Skyblock Infinity, which is a long, long way away, um, 
we can actually achieve that quickly and easily without having to manually do things ourselves. We'll just have a dedicated chipset creator and I say, I want 64 iron chipsets and all the items go flying off to their designated um, location to get turned into 64 iron chipsets. Or I say I want 64 Mark II chassis and it creates the chipsets, the iron ingots and the diamond um, transport pipes that it needs to do that. You know, so that's very cool. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.